Once Elections Canada accepts her papers, it will be official. Jennifer McCreef will be Canada's first openly transgender person to appear on a federal ballot. Ms. McCreef is running as a candidate with the Strength and Democracy Party in the Newfoundland and Labrador riding of Avalon. We reached Ms. McCreef in St. John's. Ms. McCreef, you're not just running for office, you're making history. Which one is more important to you? I think it's really a tie between both issues. I mean, I recognize the importance of representing the transgender community, a community of people who still face a lot of oppression, a community that struggles to find acceptance, employment, career opportunities, a voice in, in general, and specifically in politics. And this is a huge opportunity to demonstrate to the entire country Trans people are people, and we're just as capable, maybe even better than some of the other people running. I like to think that my life experience as a trans person makes me a better candidate in many ways because it's forced me to negotiate the government system. It's taught me how to be an advocate. It's taught me how to do change management. At the same time, running in general is very important to me specifically because I believe very strongly in the approach that Strength and Democracy is taking to literally attempt to revitalize the way we do politics and engage citizens. You, you mentioned Strength and Democracy. What led you to, to that particular party uh, to run for? Yeah, well, I had become upset and disgruntled with the other major three parties sat as a neutral observer for a while, but knew it was important to me to get back involved. I literally looked at the websites of all 22 registered and eligible parties, and that was the one that really stood out as having values that were close to my heart, as well as values that I felt were applicable, transferable, and desperately needed in the riding of Avalon, Newfoundland. The fact that we do not have party leaders interfering with local candidates and MP issues, I think it's huge because Newfoundland and Labradorians often feel, oh, we don't have a voice in Ottawa. Nobody really cares about us. Meanwhile, we had political interference involving the Liberal candidate being thrown out of caucus in a questionable situation. We had a Conservative candidate all lined up, and then all of a sudden he was That's not accepted. Yeah. I think that it's a great opportunity to re-engage the people of Avalon and say, Here's someone who really will speak out and represent you. So you've been campaigning for a bit now. How, how much are you focusing on your gender during the campaign? I'm trying not to focus on it, but at the same time, it seems to be the only thing media wants to talk about. <laughs> at this point, any exposure for me and any exposure for strength and democracy, I think it's positive because it at least gets us in the ballpark. People can't learn about our party if they don't hear about us. We were excluded from the McLean's debate, and I'm not sure if we're going to get invited to any of the other ones. So, sure, I might be pigeonholed a little bit, and I don't necessarily like the word novelty, but if it brings attention to the meat and potatoes of what we're trying to do, then I think it's worth doing. You know, going and campaigning door-to-door -door in probably any riding in the country in Avalon, would be very similar in this. You're probably the first trans person a lot of people have met at their door. How much pushback have you had? Um, I, I wouldn't say pushback at all. Um, the majority of people I meet, pretty much all of them, Newfoundlanders are easygoing, yeah. open-minded, and if, if they have negative thoughts about you, they won't tell it to your face. <laughs> They'll be polite. You, you have experience in this. You ran, uh, as I understand it, for deputy mayor of St. John's a few years ago? Correct. Yes. How, how, did, how did voters respond to your campaign then? It was a very interesting uh, scenario to watch. When I announced that I was running, initially I had practically no support. I was not being taken seriously. However, I used what little attention I could get to reach out to the unreachables. I I basically said, you people who never vote, who don't feel, who don't trust the, the system, give me that chance. I know what it's like to struggle. I know what it's like to be oppressed. I know what it's like to be turned down for job interviews and struggle to pay the rent. 
And I went and knocked on doors and targeted certain demographics. I also reached out to the youth. Everyone says the youth don't vote. Guess what? I talked to a lot of youth. And in the end, the, I went from zero support and predictions of 1% to getting 17% of the vote against a very respectable, credible, tough opponent. And I think everyone was shocked that I was able to pull in that much support in just such a small campaign. Uh, Avalon, let's admit, it is a riding full of drama right now. Scott Andrews, Ches Crosby, I, I mean, there, there's a lot going on there. There's a lot of people that will be on the ticket. What do you think your chances are? I actually think my chances are quite good. We're definitely looking at potentially six or even seven people fighting for votes. And we're seeing niche markets. We're seeing everyone's going to have their piece of the pie. And then there's going to be a big fight for the undecideds and the people that never vote. There's also going to be a lot of protest and negative voting. So ultimately, I hope behind all the controversy and scandals, the opportunity for me to demonstrate my credibility with my education and work experience, combined with the values and ideologies of strength and democracy, that I will be able to pull in enough support to win this seat. And yes, I do think I can win this seat. Well, Ms. McCreeth, you've got a, a long campaign ahead of you, a dramatic riding you picked to run in, and, and we wish you the best of luck. Thank you so much for having me on the show. It's going to be a fun two months. Indeed it will. Thanks so much for this. You're welcome. Jennifer McCreeth will be the first openly transgender person to appear on a federal ballot in Canada. Ms. McCreeth is running in the Newfoundland and Labrador riding of Avalon. We reached her in St. John's. Thank you.